Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Shah. I found the uh, seven kids, seven baby mamas TikTok, and he's got like one video answering questions about like why he doesn't use a condom or get a vasectomy. Let's watch. I honestly just learned what a vasectomy was three days ago when I started speaking on this shit. But when I figure out what that is, I'm not doing that shit. Then they ask him, why not wear a condom? I have worn protection a lot of time. These are just the instance when I have not. And unfortunately, it has resulted into the woman being pregnant. But ask yourself and ask your friends as a woman, when is the last time that you told a man to put on a condom? Because I have never in my 27 years heard a woman request me to put a condom on. I, I would like to think that maybe more respectable women would, would ask for that. But, you know, then again, I feel like Maybe it's not true because maybe those same women, if they're responsible, they, they would have the birth control already or have some plan for not getting pregnant. And me being an irresponsible man, knowing that that shit feel better raw, if I'm not going to put a condom on and if she not going to ask me, it would not be no condom. And another thing, y'all keep saying, I don't think he's telling these women he's not going to be a father after he have sex and accidentally get them pregnant. Do that shit even matter? Do I have to tell a woman to be responsible for her body? Do I have to tell a woman to wait for a man to commit to her before she have unprotected sex with him? Or do I have to tell a woman, wait till marriage before she gives a man access to her motherfucking body? <laughs> you know, it, it's one of those things where uh, he can probably tell him like, yeah, I'm not going to be the dad or whatever. And maybe there's just not that much communication going on there. You know, uh, maybe he's just trying to keep it cool with them so he can just keep getting it in for as long as it takes or whatever. And then they get pregnant. He's like, and then when they find out they're pregnant, then he's like, well, I'm not going to, I don't care. He goes some or something like that. But yeah, I mean, it's messed up if, if they don't have that conversation and then they get pregnant. But at the same time, like I can see his point that the woman should be uh, responsible with what she's doing. But then once someone's pregnant and all that, then... It's probably tough to go through with an abortion, maybe. But at the same time, and we do live, I mean, one thing I, I guess when I was at child support, I used to think about, especially with these, you know, really unplanned pregnancies where people aren't married or things like that, is uh, we do have so much technology. I mean, we live in the United States and there is, you know, in most places, I'm in California and that's where I worked at a child support agency. In California, especially, there is access to birth control and different methods to get that. So, I mean, some accountability is placed on the other party. I mean, it takes two to tango. It used to be a point of time where women actually value their innocence, actually value their virginity. But we do not live in that day to day, do we? Y'all want me to respect a woman's body more than she respected herself. Really just makes me kind of think, you know, like that we don't live back in those times, I guess, with more traditional values, you know, and especially back then when there wasn't birth control and things like that. You know, if you had a house and, and you have a daughter or something, a sister or whatever, and she gets pregnant by someone, maybe some traveler or something, something happens, and then that guy's gone, whoever it is, you now have another mouth to feed, you know. And a lot of the original values we've had, at least traditionally, I don't know, in a different time, this guy, I mean someone's brother or uncle or cousin or father or whoever would probably be after him with some some murderous rage you know but not nowadays no one not really so so i as a man can prevent her from getting pregnant whatever a woman gonna allow me to do i'm gonna do don't expect me to be irresponsible because if we both irresponsible, who's responsible for carrying a motherfucking child for nine months? It sure ain't no goddamn man. It sure ain't me. I don't got no remorse. I don't feel bad. That woman knew what she, she was doing when she laid down and slept with me. She knew the consequences. She knew the risk. And don't be trying to be like, oh, it's women with low self-esteem. It's women that, that's ghetto or ratchet or it's hood women. My seven baby mamas. And I don't even know why I claim them, just because it became a conversation. But some of them rich, some of them poor, some of them classy, some of them ratchet. Some got regular, regular ass jobs, some got great jobs. So It's funny that he brings that up because I used to see that in child support a lot too. I mean, you'd see 
people from all over the income scale uh, in these kinds of situations be like a nice nurse making 12 to 15 grand a month or you know folks making less or not having jobs or whatever it is so he's right there I mean there's all kinds of people that get in this situation it just takes one full moon out there on a night and that lizard brain talking and pretty soon you're you're at the child support agency oh, it's a woman on all levels that a fuck with a nigga like me and don't even try to speak on morals and respect because we don't have the same definition of morals and respect stop trying to tell people they gotta hold me accountable or people like me accountable the only person that can hold me accountable is my motherfucking self stop expecting men or women to come talk to me i'm a grown-ass man i ain't gonna listen to shit you gotta say and trust me y'all think women gonna hear me talk and then stay away from me they still gonna get this 8.5 trust me so I do not feel motherfucking bad. I'm the most honest individual you will fucking meet. I do not have to manipulate no woman for no pussy. I don't think he's wrong that, you know, he. there's going to be other women that get the 8.5, you know, just like he said. So maybe he will get other baby mamas as time goes on. And I don't, you know, it's, I don't know exactly what to make of it, you know. On the other side of the equation, you know, in one sense, he's trapping them or maybe the woman's trying to trap him by having their kid. I saw a case with a basketball player who had a one night stand uh, with a woman and he used a condom. He did everything right. And then like, you know, a year later, he was in child support court. And he took a genetic test because someone had claimed that woman had claimed that he had a one night stand with that. He was the father and he, the genetic test results came back and he was like, it said he was the father, but he just didn't understand. He asked the commissioner, the commission, he's like, how is it that I could be possibly this child's father? Cause I used a condom and the commissioner wasn't a judge. We, we got commissioners presiding over these. Uh, he asked, he basically asked him, he said, well, what did you do with the condom? when you were done. And he said, I threw it in the trash. So it had came out that what the woman did was remove the condom from the trash and she used the contents of that condom to uh, impregnate herself. And you know, nothing really happened to her. I mean, she got the child support order. Everything was fine. There was, you know, she's not in trouble even though he didn't consent to have a child with her, like there's the state isn't going to take away that baby from her and then make him free of having to take care of this baby. So that's the flip side of this equation. And then this guy is like, well, you had my baby and I don't care about you or that baby. Get the hell out of my face. And the state, I mean, other than trying to squeeze blood out of a turnip is there's not much that they can do there, especially in California. California is not really putting people in jail for not paying child support because there's so many people in jails already that they just can't. And that is just the thing that goes on in proceedings for contempt charges with child support. But anyways, I don't know, something about this guy. And when I just see this video, it just makes me think about things in this very weird way. But we'll see if he comes up with anything else. And, you know, who you decide to have a child with will drastically change the course of your life unless you're this guy then you can have seven kids with seven different baby mamas and be doing the exact same thing that you were doing before we'll see you on the next video guys like subscribe comment share this video tell everybody about this video and uh if you guys want follow them on tiktok house of hypocrites